Here's a quiz to see if you're a vintage story player. What's gray all over, moans like all the time, and never leaves you alone? If you answered those rock throwing dudes, drifters, or mole men, then you've answered correctly. Let's talk about my favorite in-game villain, the drifter. Hi, it's Drax. This is the part at the beginning of the video that everyone skips. For those of you that didn't jump forward, enjoy watching and listening. Might you consider supporting me further by visiting my Ko-fi or clicking on the join button on this video? All right, that's it. Back to the video. First off, no spoilers or lore here, just a brief conversation about drifters in Vintage Story. In this video, we'll meet some drifters and we'll hear from them for sure. But more importantly, I'll show you how to battle back against these aggressive foes. Let's meet the different types of drifters. There are six types and they are as follows. Surface, the most common and least deadly. Deep drifters, which are found below ground and are also somewhat common. Tainted, corrupt, Nightmare and the dreaded double-headed drifter are found way down deep in places I try to never go. As you can see here, each of the drifter types have their own health and base attack. The scarier the drifter, the more deadly their attack. They all have a chance to drop loot, flax, temporal and rusty gears, and the double-headed drifters give us a chance at Jonas parts. Drifters spawn what seems like everywhere. I've had one just suddenly appear in front of me while cooking scared the crap out of me. The truth is, they spawn on empty or tall grass blocks with a light level of 7 or below. The light part is important, more on that in just a second. But light's not the only factor in where and how the drifters will spawn. Location, location, location. Surface drifters will spawn only on the surface within 25 meters of a rift. Also, depending on the type, they're limited to the Y level, which means a certain depth. The lower you go in the world, the more dangerous it gets. Also, those lovely double-headed drifters you see down deep, well, they can spawn on the surface too, but only during temporal storms. Another reason to love temporal storms? Did I mention that drifters are not friendly? They have two forms of attack. The first, and the one most people dislike, is the rock throwing. Drifters, like, never miss. I swear, they have some kind of auto-targeting system. Drifters will throw a rock if they can't find a way to you within 15 blocks. The rock throwing wouldn't be as bad if you could pick up the rocks they threw at you. Even better would be that you got some rocks from them when you harvest their body. Where do all the rocks go when they die? Wait, where do the rocks come from when they're alive? So many questions. The other attack is their melee attack. If you get too close, they'll take a swipe at you. The amount of damage done varies on the drifters you're encountering, Needless to say, if you're going to fight them, be careful. They mean business. In the early game, any of the drifters can do real damage, even making you respawn. As you get some armor and your fighting skills improve, you can dispatch them pretty quick. There are two more things to be aware of when it comes to drifters. They will not chase you unless you're within 20 blocks. They'll just mind their business and wander around, or they'll do the weird thing where they're like, yawning or screaming. What happened to these poor creatures? Drifters will also flee. Yep, they'll run away. They have a chance to flee in sunlight. Here's the breakdown per drifter and you can see it varies per the type. They'll also run if they receive damage, fleeing up to 10 seconds. I don't ever count on them fleeing. I just flee first. I will leave you today with this tip on my friends, the mole men. Light is your friend. The more light, the better. And I'm not just talking about indoors either. Having a well-lit area can keep those pesky, moaning rock people at bay. In the early game, it's a challenge to keep the area around your house well lit, but I try to make it a priority once all of my basic needs are met. A life free of the constant moaning outside my door in Vintage Story? Well, that's a life I want to live. Did you learn something new about drifters? I did. Is there something you think I missed? Please share it with me in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. The video's over. Now it's time for you to do your part. Follow, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.